All right, welcome to Sport Video. I'm here with Coach Burgess for the boys' soccer team. Coach, uh, thanks for doing this with us. No problem. So, uh, first thing we usually ask is how you guys got into coaching, uh, and what was your really interest in the sport? I grew so I grew up playing soccer my whole life. Um, my best friend lived down the street when I was a little kid. Had two older brothers who were great soccer players, and so we always wanted to follow in their footsteps, so to speak. So we played soccer growing up. Um, and it continued. I, you know, I played club soccer at the University of Miami. I, um, you know, I play in a men's league. You know, I play in adult leagues at Wide World of Sports. So I just, it's a sport that I love. I love to watch it, especially love to play it. And uh, you know, and I'm enjoying coaching. And coach, uh, one of the things that we, I feel like we ask you every every season, is you coach three different sports. Uh, what's that like? The transition there, and how busy your schedule gets. Yeah, so coaching soccer is a, you know, obviously is a team sport. It's a lot different than wrestling and tennis, which are more individual based. So this is kind of a, just presents a different challenge for me, trying to get 11 guys working in harmony, trying to keep a team full of guys, you know, in good spirits, so to speak. And uh, uh, it's um, obviously it's busy, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's not quite as busy as uh, wrestling season. So it's a little bit more manageable. During the practice, what is it that you're looking for? You got a lot of guys on the field with you, uh, so what is it you're looking for as a coach? You set up different drills for them and, and send them out in the groups, or what's the strategy? Yeah, so every day I try to pick a focus of the day's practice. Um, so, you know, one day we might choose attacking patterns. So all I coach is that. So if a kid messes up shooting the ball, I don't correct it. All I'm focusing on is how, what they're doing in that those attacking patterns. If he makes a mistake uh, in defense, I don't correct it because today's focus is attacking. So they are still getting to do all the soccer skills they need to do, but I'm my coaching. I'm trying to focus on one specific aspect. So like today, um, we're focusing on defensive posture, like how to position your body to make a guy go a certain way and make him his play predictable. And so that's my focus. So even though they're going to be shooting and scoring goals, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about what I'm focused on, which is um, them, you know, attaining the skills, you know, of the focus of the day. So that's a lot similar to wrestling, where today we're working on this, and that's all we work on. So today we're working on defense. Tomorrow we're going to work on attacking uh, patterns and movements. So uh, I try to stay focused on that, and I you know, try to ignore all the other stuff that might go wrong and just keep my focus there. So, uh, Other coaches on the field that are helping you out today, I, I see that there are a few other coaches. Uh, can you tell me who's helping you with the soccer team? So my JV coach is Mike Lacasse. He's a sixth grade uh, history teacher down at the middle school. Um, helping him as kind of his assistant is Peter Johnson. He's a special ed teacher here at the high school. Uh, helping me is uh, Dave Root. Um, he's a uh, a coach for Explosion, the club team, and his son Owen plays on the team for me. And I also have a former player, Jake Creer, who was my captain, and uh, you know a couple of years ago. And he, um, you know, he's coming back to help us out. So he'll jump in to play sometimes. Sometimes he'll just serve balls. So um, I got some help. It's just good because it's hard to do it all by yourself. And uh, I'm really grateful that these guys are willing to give their time. It's always it's always great to see former players come back and coach as well, so that's great. Yeah, no, I, I'm really enjoying having Jake around. He's a good soccer player, and he kind of knows the stuff, so it's good to have him around. Now, uh, the big transition for North Dadaboro this year, especially with the sports teams, was the transition from the Kelly Rex to the Davenport. How did that affect your season, and, and what do you guys see going forward? Well, for, for the boys' soccer team specifically, uh, I think it – it really helps because we get to avoid playing Franklin twice, who's usually a power in our league. We get to avoid playing Oliver Ames twice. So they're defending Division II state champions. Um, we are playing KP in Attleboro twice, but the second game is our non-league contest. Um, you know, so we, it's not that our schedule is easier, but traditionally the, the two best teams in our league have been Oliver Ames and Franklin. So instead of having to see them twice every year like before, now we're seeing them just once. So uh, it's definitely a transition, and I'm hoping that it's going to help us. And uh, let's talk about the game that you guys just had yesterday. North TV was there. Uh, a, definitely an interesting game as far as the flow of momentum was going on throughout it. In the very early half of that game, uh, you know, you saw North Adderall was dominating. You guys got a lot of shots on net. You had a lot of headers, especially by John Brennan, that was just not making it in. 
Um, we heard on the sideline, one of the things you were saying was, was John, aim it down, get it down. Uh, can you talk to me about that first half? What were you doing on the coaching end of that, that game? Well, you know, the kids were doing a lot of the, a lot of things right. Um, we we play a four three three, which is a, a style of offense that's very attacking in nature, and the the majority of our attacks are going to go through the sidelines. So a lot of balls are going to come in from the you know from the cross. So I saw you trying to head balls into the net earlier. So that would be a primary way that we would try to finish. And um, so we were able to do that. We created a bunch of chances. Um, though that is a difficult skill to find the ball midair and direct it where you want it to go. Uh, so it's obviously something that we need to work on. Um, but yeah, we were all over them in the first half and that's kind of the game of soccer. Sometimes you can create the chance, but it's a matter of finishing your chances. That's really what the only thing that matters. So come second half, you know, we make a mistake in front of our own goal and, and taught and basically that was their only chance of the entire game and they finished it. And so that's kind of how soccer can go. Sometimes goals can come, against the run of play you know we dominated but she had nothing to show for it they pick up and capitalize on our mistake and they're ahead so it can be frustrating you know you alluded to the fact that before this interview we actually did talk to the captains and do some work with the captains one of the things we talked to them about is the team chemistry and the way this team kind of bonds together in a tough situation like that where your team is dominating but nothing comes forward and then the other team kind of gets the I'm going to use lack of better words the lucky goal there um what is it like for the team to come together and and to see that kind of mesh that way well it's really important uh, and I'll tell you in years past we would have lost that game we wouldn't have had the you know perseverance the tenacity to come back and respond but this team in particular they seem to get along pretty good off the field um and they're able to they were able to come together and I think it was based a lot on their previous experiences. So we, we scrimmage Fian every year. In our scrimmage this year, they went up 2 nothing. We came back to tie it 2-2. We were able to respond. Um, same thing, we scrimmaged Dighton Rehoboth every year. They went up 2 nothing. We were able to respond, come back and score two goals in the second half. Um, so I think they kind of had the confidence that they can score goals, whereas years past, we haven't had that confidence. We haven't been able to score. Um, I mean, to put it in perspective, the, I've never had a boys team score three goals in a single half before. So that was kind of a first for me. So that was exciting. And I think when they start scoring goals like that, that brings everybody together, you know, and everybody's, you can see they're in good spirits today for sure. So um, it's, it is an important thing, you know, to have the, a good team chemistry, not just on, but like when the game's over, we had pizza la yeah, last night to kind of bond a little bit and get some, get some uh, good vibes going, you know. Coach, last couple questions. Uh, what's the what's the goal for the rest of the season? Uh, from what you've seen of your team now, you know where do you see it? I'm hopeful. I'm hoping that this year we'll we'll be able to, you know, get back into relevancy in the in the Hockamock League. The last three years have not been good. We've we've been competitive, but we've been unable to get good positive results. So I'm hoping that we get some some good results this year. Um, hopefully. You know, if things go our way, we get a tournament bid. Um, that would really be, that would make me extremely happy because I am returning uh, all but three next year, all but three starters next year. And uh, any success that we have this year will just compound itself next year. And um, we could be a force to be reckoned with next year, assuming we have a little bit of, you know, success this year, you know. So, Coach, we don't want to keep you too long as practice is going on. Don't go anywhere. Come right back on Sport View where we're going to talk to the captains. What do you know about North Attleboro Town Government? Whether the answer is very little or a great deal, Inside Town Government helps you learn more about your government, town departments, services, and more. Join me, Jared Ware, as I sit down each month with representatives from town departments, Inside Town Government on North TV's Community and Government channels, Comcast Channel 15 and 98, and Verizon Channels 23 and 24. North TV, bringing the community and town government into your home. Hey food fans, tonight's special is a new show on North TV that brings you, the viewer, behind the scenes of your favorite restaurants here in town. Watch as I try each local spot in town one episode at a time. We talk to the owner, the chef, and even get to try some of the food on the menu. Tune in to tonight's special before your next night out. Tonight's special with host Brett Poirier on North TV's community channel, 
Comcast 15, and Verizon 24. With Attleboro residents think of international, national, state, and town issues, join Peter Gay for Up for Discussion, featuring members of local media, town officials, and people like you. Based on HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher and Hannity on the Fox News Network, Up for Discussion tackles the topics making headlines. Up for Discussion every month on North TV's community and government channels, Comcast channels 15 and 98, and Verizon channels 23 and 24. Did you know you could have your very own TV show? North TV holds TV production workshops that will allow you to come in and learn what goes on behind the camera, in front of the camera, and everything else you'll need to produce a show. Learn from North TV Access Coordinator Brett Poirier as he takes you through the workshop and helps you every step of the way to ensure your show goes from development to production and into your home. North TV Production Workshops with Access Coordinator Brett Poirier. Produce your own TV show. We're here with the two senior captains now. Uh, guys, thanks for joining us on Sport View. Uh, but tell me, how'd you get into soccer? Obviously, as the senior captains of the high school team, this was a sport you guys love. We've been playing together since we were like really young, probably like around seven. We're on the same uh, team and like yeah. little middle school team, yeah. so it's been fun playing. Yeah, we played on North Soccer Club together and we came up through the ranks, so, and yeah, here we are. Being a part of the North Soccer Club together, uh, going all the way up, is there like a relationship between the two of you? You guys see a lot of chemistry on the field? Yeah, there's a pretty good chemistry between us. Uh, I think, you know, the friendship we built through soccer over the years definitely played a huge part in that. And yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, talking about the chemistry, uh, one thing we've noticed is while filming this, a lot of your teammates are coming by. You guys are talking. You got music playing. They're calling out your name and stuff. Leo, tell me about the chemistry of this team. It seems like a really tight-knit team you guys have. Yeah, it's definitely a tight-knit, a lot more than, like, the previous years. I think that's really helped us because it's like a good on and off the field relationship with like extra chemistry just gives us more confidence when we're on the field to pass to each other and trust in our, each other's ability. How do, what do you think uh, Connor uh, built that relationship? What built the tightness of this team? Uh, you know, I think um, the struggle of last year, you know, I think there was a real, like, going into the summer captains, I think we really wanted to improve this year. And I think, you know, we all kind of rallied around each other and we just really wanted to be successful this year. And so we're, we're hoping to do that. Improvement is obviously one of the most important things in sports is to constantly be growing. What are some of the things that you guys do to improve as a team? Um, well, improving every season is definitely vital to our success. Uh, this year in the captain's practices, mostly we've done a lot more running. We got up to like probably like six, seven mile runs near the end just for fitness, you know, for the last, you know, 20 minutes, really important. And uh, coming together as a whole, working on our skills and everything, just really preparing for the season. Tell me, uh, what's a practice like? What's Coach Burgess like as a coach? Uh, tell me a little bit about what you guys feel is in, in, during practice. Uh, so during practice, you know, we warm up. Uh, we do some basic uh, drills, you know, just to work on the touches and the passes. And then as practice progresses, we move into more um, you know, attacking, you know, like working on the defense or attacking style stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, personally, he's a pretty strict guy. If you know him in school, he can be a little intimidating. But uh, he jokes around with us a little. It makes it funnier when you do get a rare Burgess joke in. So, that's good. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely great to play with him. Um, he really pushes you to better, be a better player. And, yeah, it's definitely great. Now, uh, let's talk about on the field. Uh, what position are you guys on the field, and where can we see you? Uh, I've been switching off from right wing and left wing, mostly. Uh, so you'll see me up top as a forward. Uh, I've been playing um, central striker. So we, have, we play like a 4-3-3. Three, three. Um, so basically, Leo or Josh, they're out in the wings. And then uh, I'll be in the middle up front. And uh, we definitely saw that in the last game that North TV was at. Uh, a, an interesting game in the sense that the first half, you guys really dominated, but struggled to get in the ball in the net. What was it like at halftime, the talk that you guys might have had? Because you came out in the second half with a totally different attitude. Yeah, um, coach gave us a great talk. He uh, recognized that we were dominating a little. We just weren't putting our chances away. And he told us to go out there hard and just really fit, like focus on finishing opportunity. And uh, that didn't happen right away because they uh, put one in, but that just really 
got us even moving because we knew we were dominating the whole game, so we knew we could easily win. And Connor, what's that like for you guys as a team? Maybe it speaks to the chemistry that we talked about before, but you come out of halftime, you just had a really strong first half, and you give up a goal right away, which kind of off the side of the net wasn't really a great goal yeah. in their hand. What's that like knowing you're down one nothing at that point? Uh, you know, it's it's very it's very difficult, especially when you're dominating most of the game and you give up a goal. You know, uh, it's definitely it definitely hurts the mentality. But I think it also, you know, just pushes you to work even more to strive and get that goal back and then try to score more goals to get the win. And I think that's definitely what happened out there. So you guys definitely come back and yeah. uh, the two captains stepped up big, scoring the next three goals. Uh, so tell me about the rally of the team. What did you guys do differently to score those goals? Uh, <laughs> we just kind of, you know, stepped up the intensity. Uh, you know, we, we, we just didn't let the guard down. We just kept pressing and kept the offense going, looking for through balls, playing the ball out wide, uh, which is kind of what happened in the uh, first goal. Noah was able to get out wide and cross the ball, and we got ahead to it. And uh, we're playing Leo through a couple times. He won the PK and his final goal, the ball was played through and he was able to get to it. So I think, you know, just keeping the offense going, I think that definitely helped. <laughs> Leo, tell me about the PK goal. You're at the PK goal and it's to take the lead in the team for the team. It's a big game for you guys. What's the pressure on you at that point? What's going through your head? Uh, game's on the line. You know it's a big PK, but you just got to really reflect confidence in yourself and just focus on the shot and know you're good enough to put it in. And you end up putting it in, you guys have a nice little moment there, celebration, but you gotta get right back into it because you gotta keep them off. Uh, so what's the transition like? What's the coaching difference, at least for you guys as captains? What are you telling your teammates during that game? Well, uh, we were just kind of riding that wave of just, you know, confidence and uh, just kept coming at them. We had the momentum coming in, so we didn't want to lose it. Awesome guys. So one of the things we wanted to do today, you guys are going to show us some of your skills, uh, definitely with the net behind you. We're going to have you guys showing us some of your offensive skills and I'm going to see if I can learn from what I did last year in sports. What do you know about North Attleboro Town Government? Whether the answer is very little or a great deal, Inside Town Government helps you learn more about your government, town departments, services and more. Join me, Jared Ware, as I sit down each month with representatives from town departments, Inside Town Government on North TV's Community and Government channels, Comcast Channel 15 and 98, and Verizon Channels 23 and 24. North TV, bringing the community and town government into your home. Hey food fans, tonight's special is a new show on North TV that brings you, the viewer, behind the scenes of your favorite restaurants here in town. Watch as I try each local spot in town one episode at a time. We talk to the owner, the chef, and even get to try some of the food on the menu. Tune in to tonight's special before your next night out. Tonight's special with host Brett Poirier on North TV's community channel, Comcast 15, and Verizon 24. North Attleboro residents think of international, national, state, and town issues. Join Peter Gay for Up for Discussion, featuring members of local media, town officials, and people like you. Based on HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher and Hannity on the Fox News Network, Up for Discussion tackles the topics making headlines. Up for Discussion every month on North TV's community and government channels, Comcast channels 15 and 98, and Verizon channels 23 and 24. Did you know you could have your very own TV show? North TV holds TV production workshops that will allow you to come in and learn what goes on behind the camera, in front of the camera, and everything else you'll need to produce a show. Learn from North TV Access Coordinator Brett Poirier as he takes you through the workshop and helps you every step of the way to ensure your show goes from development to production and into your home. North TV Production Workshops with Access Coordinator Brett Poirier. Produce your own TV show. All right, so we're with Leo Charlebelay over to the side of the net. We're going to play a little bit of the winger to our center central striker. Uh, and we want to do a heading shot. We want to cross uh, in front of the net. So, Leo, you're going to tell me first what I'm looking for, uh, where I'm trying to place the ball, and uh, how to really get this ball over there. All right, so what you're going to want to do is you want to square your hips up to the player, hit with the insole of your foot, and just have a nice smooth follow through. Scoop it up, nice head level. 
Now, where am I trying to place it? When you're standing off to the side here, what are you looking for? Are you just kind of putting it out there? Uh, well, always a good area is like the penalty spot. It's a perfect area, uh, but mostly it's about your runner. So where Connor is, probably right about just along this line coming up. All right, and now uh, when you put the ball up in the net or you put the ball up in front of the net there, what are you looking for after that? Are you trying to come up and play the ball or are you going to drop back and anticipate defense at that point? Um, well, probably you're going to drop back, see the shot. If there's a rebound that comes out this way, obviously you're going to come in and to attack it. But if there's a big clearance, then, yeah, you're going to look to drop back to play defense. All right, so enough talking about this. Let's see it a couple times. Let's see Leo. Uh, as a professional, you're going to show me how to, how to head this one in or put this one in across. Sounds good. All right, it's, it's good every time, right? All right, so Leo, we've seen you hit it a couple times now. You put it pretty perfectly right in front of the net there. Uh, what's your best advice for me if I go to try this for the first time ever? Uh, probably just don't overthink it, you know, just swing through. And really, yourself. really just put it, put it as close there as I can, right? Yep. All right. Now, should I be concerned with what I'm doing, or should I anticipate that he's, he can adjust and kind of make the, the play as well? Uh, it would definitely be adjustments from Connor, from uh, your cross, I'm guessing. <laughs> but, uh, I see what you're saying there. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to try this then. So my first cross ever, uh, try to put it in front of the net there. <laughs> I can't even get it up. All right, let's try make <laughs> attempt number two. I think when you talk to me about like not thinking too much about it, there was no thought at all. Was the problem there? There was none. Yep. All right, so smooth swing through. Smooth swing all the way through. <laughs> at least he's scoring, right? Yeah. Like at least he's scoring. So I can't even get the ball in the air. So I'm. I feel like I'm hitting the ball at the top of my foot. Where should I be hitting it? Yeah, right there with the insole. It's a good area. Oh, so I'm doing the right thing. Yep, just mostly the contact. You know, try to aim right for the underside of the ball. All right, so last attempt. We'll see if we can even get this one up. Hey. <laughs> Not bad. Right, so thanks for being nice. All right, so now we're going to see this shot from the other side of the ball. All right, so now we're on the other side of the cross. We're in front of the net. I'm with Connor. Connor, obviously, uh, my feed is a little different from Leo's. Um, but if you do get a good feed from the ball, what are you looking for? Where, where are you playing, uh, playing the cross? All right, so uh, I'm kind of, first thing is position-wise. So I'm kind of, you know, looking where the goalkeeper is, uh, trying to f figure out, like, an open space where he can play the ball into, uh, where the defenders are, make sure I'm not off sides, or make sure I have room, whatnot, to make sure I'm in, so I can get into open space. So there's a lot of thought into your position to start the the actual cross. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Definitely. Absolutely. All right. So now, uh, if I'm playing defense, right? If I'm a defender, uh -huh. you obviously have to be behind me. You can't. You right. Can't I can't be past you. Yep. That's offsides. Yes. Um, and then, what are you looking to do playing me to, to get to the cross? Where are you looking to go? Uh, so basically, I'm looking to either make a run in behind you, or if I can make a run in front of you, I'm just looking for an open spot to where Leo can play it in, and then I can run onto it. Now, is there any communication between the two of you as far as what's going on? Like, what um, you're thinking? Not really. Typically, when he's running down to the uh, end line, you know, I pretty much have a good idea of it's either going to come in and through the air or it's going to be a low hard bar, uh, ball to the, where the PK spot is. Low hard is the way I deliver it. So just know that when, when it's coming in from me, it's low and hard. All right, so let's actually let, let's go through this. We got Leo uh, off on the, the cross over there. So let's see a couple times of, of you playing uh, where I'm, I'll just stand here as defense. Okay. But you playing against me, and, and we'll see you guys feed and, and score a goal here. Okay, sounds good. Now, the thing I always look at when you guys do that is you're hitting it right off the, the, the front of your noggin there. Right. Uh, so where am I trying to hit, head the ball? Because obviously I don't want to, like, my face... But like, right. where are you? Right at the crown of your head? Uh, typically, when you want to head the ball, you want to head it, yeah, right at the crown of the head. Because if you hit it anywhere else with these soccer balls and the pace comes out, it does not feel good. So. Now, one of the things we saw is you guys got a lot of crosses in the last game you played. Brennan was was definitely one of them who was getting uh, consistent crosses, uh, a lot of headers from him. But uh, 
Coach Bird's talking to, to him about hitting it down and, and getting the ball down. How am I trying to hit the ball once it's in the air? How am I, what's my strategy there? Like when the ball's coming down? Yeah, when the ball's coming down at uh, you. Typically, you just want to you know, try and position yourself so you can hit it correctly, you know? Just make sure you get a good foot on it. All right. All right, so let's, uh, let's get one more professional one done by uh, Leo and Connor, and then uh, I guess I'll do my best. <laughs> Goals all day by these guys. You make it look easy. All right, so now uh, I guess I'll try my, my very best at a header. Uh, and I'll be honest, the thing I'm most worried about right now is catching a soccer ball right to the face. Like, that's what I'm most worried about. All right, so let's deliver this bad boy. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't even need it. We'll try that again. Got to be quicker, you know? Just got to get the quick feet going. Oh, <laughs> almost, almost. <laughs> that is everything I feared about it. It's not a light touch. That one smoked me. I'm not good at this. I will do one more. We'll do one more. Sounds good. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Puts it in that. And then what is it? It's a slide on your knees, right? Like, ah. He's right, like, ah, yeah. Yeah, like that. <laughs> That's it for Sport View. I hope you enjoyed it. I would like to thank the entire boys' soccer team for being a part of this. Catch us next time when we highlight your favorite high school sports team right here on Sport View.